Well, as is customary, I figured it was uh, about time to make a video about my um, bag here. Uh, I guess you could call it a bug out bag or a get home bag. Uh, I tend to just call it my truck bag. Um, this thing's a year or two in the making and I think I've got it um, to a sufficient level of overkill for my liking. Uh, now the reason that I don't think I would really call this a true bug out bag is that uh, it's just it's just too heavy with all the stuff I've got in it. Like I said, I went overkill pretty bad. Um, this thing weighs way too much to comfortably carry on my back or in my hand for any amount of time. So I'm not too worried about it since, like I said, I tend to just keep it in my truck, especially if I'm going somewhere uh, off the beaten path. Um, and the fact of the matter is, if it's uh, a situation where I have to go on foot, well, I can always dump a bunch of stuff out of it that I'm not going to need. But in the meantime, I've got just about everything in this bag that I could ever imagine needing to get through a couple of days pretty much anywhere, any place that I ever go. Um, and then a bunch of other stuff on top of that just because, well, it's kind of cool and I like it. So, real quick, this is the Yukon Outfitters. Uh, duffel bag. It's not a traditional backpack. Um, I didn't really want something that was specifically a backpack. I like holding something more by a top handle. Um, I will say that there is an option on the back to pull out some straps. They hook down at the bottom here and then you can use the thing like a backpack. Uh, I'm not so sure how strong these straps are going to be. I've read mixed reviews on them, but this thing wouldn't probably be very comfortable to wear on my back for a very long time, even if I dumped a lot of the weight out of it. But it is an option. If I really had to carry something else while carrying this thing, I guess I could wear it like a backpack. But generally, I don't do that, and I just hold it by the, the top handle. It's also got this strap, which, considering these plastic clips and rings. I don't have any confidence in this holding all the weight of this thing. So I'll open it up and show you what's inside. Now this thing's got pockets and pouches and flaps and con compartments pretty much everywhere and uh, I'm gonna have too hard of a time holding this uh, camera with one hand and really getting into here and pulling all this stuff out of here so what I'm gonna do is just lay everything that's in this bag out on the table just to show you how much stuff this thing can hold. Well, here it is. Here's everything from inside the bag laid out for you to see in its ridiculous detail. Like I said, it's way too much stuff if I ever thought I was going to have to carry this thing very far. But uh, I've accounted for just about anything that might hold me up somewhere, be it stuck in my car, or stuck in the woods in the snow, or stuck pretty much anywhere besides my house. So, um, well, I'll go through, uh, through the items for those that are interested, just so you can see how absurd this has gotten. Uh, we got the, the water bottle. Toilet paper taken off the roll, of course, to save room. Uh, Got to have some uh, some moist wipes. That's always good for the hygiene. Some gloves, good warm hat, boonie hat, good for if it's raining. Um, here's something I'm particularly fond of. Uh, a couple T-shirts, socks, and underwear. Uh, vacuum sealed in a food saver. Keeps them uh, waterproof but more importantly, uh, squishes them down and saves some good space. Uh, here we got the little, little Baofeng radio. Um, I'm a licensed amateur radio operator, but I don't know, this thing's more cool than useful in my opinion for any realistic situation that I find myself in, but I like it anyway. And I got the... Uh, uh, the, the battery pack that takes rechargeable double A's, of course the double A's, 
This is a little uh, charger for the double A's that can plug into my little solar panel. That thing's pretty cool. I can use this to charge my phone or whatever else I might have with me too. That's probably where it's going to be more important. And my little weather radio that's solar powered, crank powered, and so forth. Over here we've got the uh, the kitchen, so to speak. And I sure don't think these are going to taste very good, but apparently in a pickle they're going to bring you the calories you need. But because I probably want to eat something that I actually like, I got the can of soup and the peanut butter. and You can't beat having some little instant coffee packets. I uh, got the can opener, even though the only can I have has a pull top, but whatever. These things are small and cheap and don't take up much room. Got the little eating tool, which I tried out a couple of times and I don't actually care for much at all. So I bought the little, the little kit that's got a knife, fork, spoon, and even a couple of stainless steel chopsticks. Uh, over here we got a uh, hatchet. Out of the bottom, this little fire starter thing pulls out of it, although I don't know how useful I'm ever going to find that because I usually have an abundance of lighters with me wherever I go, including in this bag. But that's just an extra thing just in case, I suppose. And we got the cold steel knife. Here's a, a, a pretty, pretty handy little shovel that completely takes apart and and breaks down into this little bag. Um, this is one of those, uh, no, I'm sorry, this is one of those little handheld chainsaws where you grab it by both ends and you can saw through a branch or something, I guess. I'm not sure how confident I am in this thing, but it was given to me, so I threw it in here. There's my compass. Got the multi tool. Uh, let's see over here, we got the flashlight. That's pretty important. I gotta still pick up some extra batteries and uh, make sure that they work with my charger over here. A little headlamp. I don't know how much I actually want this thing in here, but I don't use it for anything else, so I thought I'd toss it in there. Got some Gorilla Tape, a small uh, roll of Gorilla Tape. You never know when that's gonna come in handy. And I got the Life Straw. Again, they were having a deal on these. I know everyone says that uh, these aren't the way to go because you can't put the water into a different container after you filter it so I'll probably pick up one of the other ones that everyone recommends uh, the brand name slips my mind at the moment um, up here a little camp stove it uses uh, it's got a, a, a you know an included little pot to boil water or heat something up and it uses these little uh, these little fuel cubes and eh, from what I read this box will give me enough fuel to boil at least uh, I don't know a few cups of water here and there heat up some soup I guess um, yeah, this is one of those cheapy uh, foil sort of emergency sleeping bag blanket things I never know what what use that'll do but barely weighs anything and it was just a couple of bucks um, I have a notoriously poor sense of direction so if I'm outside of my normal sort of uh, stomping grounds I'm gonna need a map so I got a nice laminated map of all the highways in my state and uh, I also don't see that well so the magnifying glass is gonna come in pretty handy especially if I don't happen to have my glasses with me uh, up here we have the the handgun of course that's usually on my hip so it doesn't really hang out in the bag but for the sake of the video I figured I'd stick it in the holster that I carry in the bag Sp spare box of, of uh, ammo a couple of spare magazines here we got my little watch that hopefully I'll have something to actually set the time on this thing before I need to use it because I never use it but uh, it's got one of those uh, kinetic motion deals so as long as I keep it moving it should keep the time I guess I don't know paracord never know when that's going to come in handy got the first aid kit this thing's got just about everything in it that I could need short of a field surgery uh, and I added a few other things in there some latex gloves it only came with a couple gloves here's a little emergency sewing kit pretty cool it's only a few bucks this was one of those little 
uh, emergency fishing kit, survival fishing kit. It's just got a little bit of line and some hooks and um, in a pinch, I guess you could do something with uh, with it in a little river or a lake or something. And we got the waterproof notebook. I always like to keep notes of whatever's going on because I tend to forget things if I don't. Um, here we've got another little little fire starter and emergency whistle thing. Someone gave this to me as a gift. I probably wouldn't have bought such a thing, but eh, what the heck, threw it in the bag. This is the most valuable fire starter in my opinion. As long as you dry these out, you can get them wet. They'll still work and get dirty, still work. And they're just so inexpensive. I, I stick one of these in every other pocket in that bag. And, um, I don't know. I doubt I'll ever need any, any fire starting beyond uh, one of those lighters, let alone now four of them and the two other fire starters in this whole mess. Uh, here we got a... A bag with uh, with some liquid things that I just absolutely don't want to ever break open or spill. We got the, you know, the deep woods insect repellent. Uh, a bottle of uh, hand sanitizer in there. Uh, kind of hard to see, but I got the camp suds. It's always good to have. And I guess that's all that's in there. So that's the bag. It's pretty ridiculous, pretty overkill, but. And it's pretty cool too. With a setup like this, I almost hope my car breaks down in the woods somewhere. Well, no, I don't, but in the meantime, it's pretty cool to have anyway. All right, I'm going to put all this stuff back in the bag and see if I can remember where everything goes. And we'll go from there. <laughs> 